So I got my first lever action rifle, the Citadel Levtac 357 Magnum lever action rifle. Just gonna do a quick unboxing video on it. So it looks like basically just get the rifle and then this little packet here. It's just go through this really quick and see what's inside. So you got the chamber lock, standard instructions, and whatever this is. It's actually a hammer extender. As you can see, it just screws onto the hammer there with a set screw on that side, right in there in that opening. And it's essentially just to make it easier to cock the hammer and more importantly, safely decock it to the halfway position and then all the way back. And we got the rifle itself. All right, so I got this thing out of the plastic in the box. Just go ahead and do an up close look at it. And there's the lever. Looks like it's got a padded polymer plastic buttstock. And the cool thing about this, why it's called the LevTac, is it's a modern take on the lever action rifle. As you can see, it's got an M-lock handguard that it comes stock with, so you can put attachments on it. And then it also has a pick rail already installed on the top. So now, if you look at this M-lock handguard, you can basically put anything and everything on there for comparison. My AR-15 here, I put a M-Lock handguard on that, so you can attach rails wherever you want. So let's go ahead and see how the trigger pull is on this. It's light, nice feeling trigger pull. And so one of the main reasons why I chose 357 Magnum is the fact that it is backwards compatible with 38 Special. This is a 357 Mag, this is a 38 Special. As you can see, the cartridges are the same circumference, but the length of the cartridge on the 357 Mag is just a little bit longer, which means it has more powder to it, more kick. So far, I really like the sights. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Focus, there we go. You see, it's got that dot at the end of it. You just line it up in that circle. Pretty straightforward and basic and I would assume effective. But if you don't like that, that's the nice thing about this. You can put an optic up here on the rail, a scope, basically whatever you want to do and then just make it your own. And so the safety on this rifle, it cannot be activated unless the hammer is actually physically pulled back. Then you can push it over to the safety on, then that safety off. And that is essentially everything that comes in the box with this rifle. It's been a few days since I did that initial unboxing video. I've taken it shooting since then, and I've also got my add-ons that I wanted to put on here, so I'll just go ahead and show those off really quick. So for starters, I got this forward grip, which also doubles as a tactical light. Also has a strobe setting, and this is just a cheap light you can get on Amazon for 35 bucks. Rechargeable with a Type-C cord and I also added this cheek riser buttstock pad which also holds eight rounds which just so happens to be the exact amount of rounds that the tube holds in it so kind of worked out perfectly now since I've taken it shooting I absolutely love these sights and I don't think I mentioned it earlier but the front sight is gold tipped so 
these iron sights work so good I was hitting out over 100 yards, no problem. And one more thing, I also forgot to mention that it comes with loops for adding a sling to there. So I'll just go ahead and show that off really quick. So these sling loops use this type of system. I actually found this sling on Amazon for about eight bucks. So you just put that through the little opening, get it in place, and then you just tighten it down and you're good to go. Yeah, that's basically it for the unboxing. I absolutely love this rifle. I would highly recommend it for anybody looking to get into a lever action rifle. This is actually my first lever action. And I feel like I picked a really good one. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And I'll put in some footage of me shooting this rifle right after this. Um, for the little one. Well, definitely got it that time. <laughs>